Daddy-o, patty-o, daddy-o, patty-o, daddy-o, patty-o, daddy-o, daddy-o, patty-o, Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome here tonight. Welcome here tonight. Thank you for sitting with us. Thank you. We appreciate you. Yes, we do. We do. Yes, we do. You don't, though. You all go to hell. Just stop listening. Fuck you. Uh, that is... That was Colin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Daddy yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're not about spreading yeah. uh, negativity and harmful words. Towards Welcome you. to Daddy O Patty, yeah. everybody. Yes. We, the topic tonight is um, setting things on fire. One time when I was a kid, I set a whole forest on fire in my backyard, <laughs> but. We managed to put it out because there's a creek back there with a gallon of milk floating in it. So we dumped the milk on the fire, and we dumped, oh. uh, we filled it up again, and we kept pouring the water on it. He had a milky it. creek in the <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's so, Who throws a gallon of milk in a creek? Dude, uh, the street I grew up on was called Mill Creek. Wait, Wait really? It was called Mill Creek. M-I-L-L. Creek. Mm. Milk, milk Creek. But it's like milk. It was across from a graveyard. Your boy... Done. Grew up next to a graveyard. I, grew Shit, up in a graveyard. I was skull fucking <clears throat> at the age of three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Peaches. Yes. Peaches, you used to have a lazy eye. No, what? <laughs> Not that I know of. I can ask my mom. I, I rubbed it back into place. Dude, can we have? <laughs> Colin slapped me so hard. Or I drank too much margaritas and it twisted itself eyeball. back. What if that's like what the doctor actually did? It's like cracking your knuckles. He would have to crack the pupil back so it was centered. It'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> it goes oval. Oh, thanks. It goes oval for like three days and then just like. I've read about out. people who get their eyes knocked out of their head, and like uh, it's so disorienting because like your left eye is looking like where your normal eye would be. Mm. And the right eye, like, instead of seeing, like, kind of the same thing that your left eye would be seeing, it's, like, looking straight down. There's a Vetra Brothers about that. Damn. Is there? Yeah. Uh, I just, Dr. I hear people throw up immediately. in the face and his eye gets knocked out. And then, like, for one split second, they show a split screen. Oh, wait, see, I think I've seen this. They see his eye on the ground. Damn. And then, like, he sees, like, uh, the monarch mercenaries coming at him. Right, right. Dude, that would, like, hurt my brain. Yeah, this people throw up immediately because it's so... If, like, that that's would, that's yep. a point of view you'll never, ever, ever have unless that your would, eye gets knocked out. That would hurt to have your yeah, eye you your, pulled out. If you punch somebody and that, like, one of those eyes came out, I feel like that'd be justice enough. Like, you'd be like, I'm done with them. Like, I don't need to hurt them anymore. I hear it's no. actually, it's, it's yeah, their eyes on a string hanging out of their eye hole. Like, I hear it's you don't Dude, yeah, do you, do you see that? Like, say you get punched in the back of the head and your eyeball, like, pops out. Can you, like... Can you see whatever your eye would be seeing if I mean, it's, like, dangling yeah, yeah. Your optic like, nerve yeah, like, is still attached. It's not like it's just, yeah. like, it's like in the movies or, like, cartoons. And I bet you're, like, trying to... It's just an eyeball. <laughs> you're, you're, like, trying to blink and, like, but your eyeball oh, is I never not thought covered about by that. your eyelid. Well, so you're you gotta, rubbing, like, blink oh. with, like, your wet... You're just rubbing your... your wet fingers. You're just using... No, you're, it, like, rubbing your optic nerve with, like, eyelashes. Is there a, spe- a specialist yeah. you can call to, like, have your eye put back into your socket? I think... Uh, yeah, that's their only practice. Yeah, it's like, I think, oh, I, dude, okay. I think you just call 911, and <laughs> then they figure it out for No, me. you call I back, I back in the head dot com. <laughs> you call you the website. Your <laughs> Ripped out of your skull? Phone. Call 911. 1-800-I-BACK-IN-THE-SOCKET.COM. You call uh, you just Clarkson in. Eye Care and ask if they have glasses that are big enough for... <laughs> that, that, Two eyes. Before you have your eye reset, you just get new glasses to like for just like a that. mutant hanging eye. You just got to get someone to put their knuckle... <laughs> you got to use your knuckle to get it popped right back in there. Oh, Jesus. You dude. have like a hanging lens. <laughs> Lance, if my... Oh. If my eye ever gets knocked out of my socket, just break my neck. I'll, I'll, no, take, I'll take no, you out. We imagine. have recording proof that this is a mercy <laughs> killing. Like, Remember what if it like went down in your mouth and you accidentally? Ooh, like, I'd love to taste it. my eyeball. Oh, just suck and on you, your eyeball, and dude, then you uh, watch the inside of your body digest it, <laughs> dude. Uh, so the <laughs> first girl, the first girl I ever dated, like I always joked with her that I was going to lick her eyeball. And one day I did. One day I fucking got oh, my man. tongue in there. And it doesn't taste like We anything. used to do that uh, it's, it's at the Wizard a... Tower. Oh, yeah, we did do that then, too. Because it was one of the Jenga things. Like, if you pulled Jenga, you had to lick somebody's eyeball. And then, <laughs> like... Do you dude, remember... Which, that... by the way, uh, I didn't know this, but, like, you could just take a shot instead of do any of the things that were on the Jenga blocks. Oh, yeah, And there dude. were three of them... There were three of them that said brown eye in all caps, which means you had to stand up on the table and show everybody there your butthole. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, there was a whole bunch of people there that I had never met, and I didn't know that it, it was an option to like opt out of whatever you got on Jenga, and I pulled the brown eye one. And That's... like a sprinkler, I stood up and just like rotated. I, I oscillated back and forth. 
and showed the whole place my spread butthole. And I had to sit back down at the table and look everybody back in the eyes again. <laughs> and like, knowing uh, that they so, It's so funny that there wasn't just one block that said there was three. You had three opportunities to, like, do <laughs> something that heinous. Do you remember the guy who was, like, next to me? He's, like, some super bro guy, and he had, like, his girlfriend there. And, like, uh, it was, like, make out with somebody next to you or, like, kiss somebody next to you. And the guy's like, yeah, you can kiss my girlfriend. You should just kiss my girlfriend. You should just make out with my girlfriend right now. And he's, like, very, like, it wasn't just, like, a joke. Like, he's very adamant about it. Maybe he's into that shit. I was like, so did ja- you make out with his girlfriend? No, Jason was so <clears throat> right to me. I just kissed Jason, like, on the like, just a very like motherly like peck on the on the mouth. Like, uh, have a motherly good day peck. at school, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, is I have a gr- good day at school, sweetie? But she kissed you on Did the you mouth. Did you give him his lunchbox and send him on his way after that? <laughs> <laughs> See, as soon as He's Jason would have closed that? his eyes, I would immediately stuck my tongue down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> just slithered it right in there. It's all wet. It'll go in there. But who invited yeah. that guy? Who invited uh, that guy? I don't know who those people were. There, there was a lot of people that I never knew. Wait, wait. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. There were only three of us that lived there, so how was it so often that there were people that, like, nobody knew there? You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things where, like, <laughs> someone doing... walks in and everyone assumes they're somebody else's friend. Yeah, it's like, just gap friends, man. Like those three girls that came in today? I don't know those people. The ones downstairs? People? I'm just kidding. I know them. I was going to say, man. I don't know who those girls are. Uh, they're, they're dead. Yeah. They're dead to me. But uh, they just walk into our house. Yeah, no, like uh, we should, we should try to have a party where everybody who comes is people that we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to invite a stranger to the party. No, no, I thought Dude, the only way a, to like do that though is to do like a Craigslist ad, and then you're just gonna get like well, that's why some should be a, a, a it, Craigslist it be a party. party. Oh my god, a Craigslist party! No, I thought about. Inviting all my Tinder matches to one party, and then when they get there, be like, hey, it's a Tinder party. Invite all your Tinder matches to the same party. <laughs> God. Dude, That'd eventually awesome. the whole world would be there. Well, Everybody you think that. Who had think Tinder. Like, let's or- say I had ten Tinder matches, and I told them to invite their Tinder matches, and they invited ten of their Tinder matches, and then, like, they went on. Dude, There's know. a lot of crisscross there that, like, it'd probably just be, like, 20 people that were just, like, totally... T- t- I t- honestly t- t- but how long don't want that many Tinder people in my house. No, way, no <laughs> way. But how long do you think it would be before an orgy happened? Uh, I, Dude, every... I guess everyone matched. Yeah, yeah. everyone is like, I find you attractive. I'm sure like, everybody would be down for it. Tinder is well, just Well, no, not everyone matched. That's not true. That is. Like, not everyone matched with each other. I mean, like, the people, if I tell, the, the person I tell to invite more Tinder people, we all matched... And then the people that they I, invite had to move I away. guess that kind of makes sense. Dude, this know. is this is a genius party. But it'd be really hard to get oh, all these. Speaking of parties, we are nine days away from Daddy Opadio's first birthday. Oh my me, 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 yeah, that's absolutely me, true. The Home Alone 2 theme. Home Alone 2 also. Home Alone 2. 1 2. 1 2. Mike check. Dude, from now on, at. At every one of my birthday parties, I want you to play the Home Alone theme instead of the birthday song. You know, I I'll come to... out with John Candy's mask on my face, one too. One of the first CDs I ever the bought. The one from the coffin? Like, the second Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> was, second... John Candy, was John Candy even in uh, Home Alone? No. He, yeah, he was. He was oh, Home he's Alone. the first one. He was the first one. He played he the, the saxophone. He had a polka band. Was it a saxophone or a yeah. trombone? My second CD I ever bought, though, I think, as a kid, was the Home Alone 2 soundtrack. Really? I, I'm pretty sure. I think the first one was a Pokemon soundtrack, which was pretty lame. Whoa. But, uh... Whoa. Dude. Well, it was, like, all the stuff. What kind of Pokemon are you? How do you do the things you do? <laughs> like, songs like that. Dude. Like, we're going to have CLC really, Pokemon theme song. I really want to make a... a a filthy trap beat to the uh, to the Home Alone theme song. I think that'd be so the funny, dude. Oh, dude! Why would you touch that? That song is so innocent, man. Like, why do you, why do you even want to touch that, man? I, I, th- I think of glittering snow and childhood dude. and Christmas when okay. I hear that. Guys, can we go get drunk in front of the Home Alone house in Chicago this yes. summer? Yes. Just do it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah like, we should definitely do that, dude. And then crazy. and then let's all get let's yeah. all get in a convertible and drive to the uh, to the Forrest Gump bench. Hey, and that then... that dubstep I made Where just a second ago. Can you like make that sound more like real dubstep, like in the editing? 
Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't really I mean, know don't, how to don't, make dub stuff. Don't do it immediately. Like, have my voice, and then later on at the end of the episode, throw that in. As a uh, bonus. Andy, just chop and screw it. That's <laughs> the only <laughs> the way to go. <laughs> 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 I'm sipping on phone, phone, sipping on phone. So, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do for uh, a party? We need to do some type of birthday party. McDonald's, dude. Oh, McDonald's theme party. <laughs> let's let's seriously, guys. Let's have a Daddy O Patio party. Like, uh, but wait, wait until I get back, which should be like really soon. Let's throw but, a Molotov uh, cocktail somewhere, dude. That's the whole party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Throw it through where, a Dollar Tree is, window. Uh, <laughs> where could we have a party that much fun? Like, there's no four walls can't contain us. Yeah, dude. I think we should order we're, a we're Falcor. In four walls right now. Oh, we're we're we should order walls. a Falcor and take us to let's the clouds. Let's all buy a plane ticket and get. Super. But different places. Well, <laughs> and then we do daddy patio cross we'll, continent. We'll bring, a, we'll bring a table and some chairs, and we'll, we'll take the emergency door off in the plane and put the table and chairs on the wings, <laughs> and we'll have a party out there. Guys! <laughs> be awesome. Dude, we should have a party at the bank patio, because I'm moving to that bank, you know? And we should You're sit out on the bank? bank's patio and have Dude, a daddy patio party. How oh. terrible would it be to be locked in that freaking vault, man, and suffocate and die? Uh, that's how I'm gonna. That's how I'm gonna go out of this world. <laughs> yeah. That's dude. That's happened to like. But think of all the many money. Many a bank teller. How many a bank teller? You have all that money. Nowhere to spend it. Uh, great, great Uncle Remus. Dude, that would be gray? a freaking. Or great. Both. Gray, great Uncle. His, his skin color was gray. <laughs> He's I would not want to be within 40 feet of that gremlin. <laughs> He's got He's... gray skin. If you got gray skin, he's got at least 10 diseases, and his skin is just. Reeks of or he's like an alien and his technology ran out, so like his greatness <laughs> is showing through. <laughs> he's or right he's, a he's a reptilian. He's a reptilian. He's a guest in our episode tonight. He's right How here. do I know you guys aren't re- reptilian? Oh, I'm a total reptilian. Re- they're reptilian. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, 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 ma- hey! Lance had a seven foot tongue. That came ma- out. Make a sound effect of me killing peaches and Callan. You guys scream. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would Colin this, died very quickly. He made no sound. <laughs> I was a little more painful. Sorry. Make, make, make the Velociraptor sound when it's pulling that guy in at the beginning. His tongue went through my urethra. And oh my god. <laughs> Lance. That's how you die? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's not even like you're horrified. You're like, Lance. <laughs> you know better. <laughs> you just stick your tongue in your not friend's now. urethra. Not now. No not more from now. you. I always later. thought. I always thought it'd be cool if you were, like, a predator, if you had, like, a really long tongue to, like, choke something with it, like, choke your prey with it and look it in the eyes, you know? Like, you mean, with your uh, tongue. alien? Uh, Alien's the one that has, that like, a second, like a second jaw that, like, comes out. Like no, it had a mouth general. on its tongue. Not, like, tongue. the predator, just, like, a predator. Oh, I thought you were talking about I want to try to navigate <clears throat> through a day with predator vision. Like, everything just infrared. I think that'd be hard, dude. It totally It'd be would. so hard. Half the shit I'm looking for isn't even warm. Like, <laughs> dude, I want like a, a a cold like beer, and I, all I see is like heat. Like that'd be no, so hard. But you do want a warm pussy. <laughs> cold beer and warm that, pussy. Warm beer, cold yeah. pussy, graveyard, <laughs> temperature beer. <laughs> dude, you'll never find predator there. You can never even see it. You wouldn't know I mean, how to you, get you there. You would be the predator in that case. <laughs> but it's a victimless crime, banging a dead body, you know? Dude, but what if Who we had, hurting? like, predator Who vision? Who are you hurting? <laughs> Your predator vision in, like, side of a, like, a, a daycare center? <laughs> but, like, wait, like a sexual predator or just a predator predator? No. Or both? Pre- Ooh. Uh, I'm just gonna go regular predator. Oh, okay. To keep my integrity intact. If, if a predator showed up on, like, the catch a predator with, like, Quiet! <laughs> 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 is, is that a joke that's been done? Like, hey, that's to, gotta be on YouTube to somewhere, YouTube dude. I feel like that's too perfect. That sounds like a robot chicken. Dude, like, what would Chris Hansen do? Like, his skull would be tor- tor- torn out of his nostril within a second by like the predator. Like, the whole episode was a predator trying to get the guy for him to catch a predator to predator him. Too much predator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my brain. Um, my favorite to catch predator moment is where like uh this guy was in the house. Well, he got there, and like uh, well she's thirteen. He's like I didn't know she's thirteen. I thought she was eighteen. Like was very adamant. Like hey, I don't know. I didn't know she was this age, which they do all the time. But then they search the guy's car, and it's supposed to be like her thirteenth birthday that day that he got there, and he's like, 
It's like, I'll do something special for you. They, like, open up his trunk, and he's, like, a cake that says happy 13th birthday in her name. It's like, well, I can't really play off it. You don't know how old she is. Yeah. If you have, like, <laughs> her name on a birthday like cake. Like, I had to go to a schnooks and, like, <laughs> say that. Like yeah. It. There's one episode that they catch, or it's two different episodes. That's my favorite episode. Where they catch him twice, and he goes... Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see that guy. I think he goes, oh, I'm sorry. And then he goes, oops. And yeah, yeah, like, the second time, they, like, he oops. walks in and sees through his hands, he's like, oops. You just committed a serious felony for the twice. second time in a day. He, he had, like, his court date, like, within... is either that day or, like, the day before or something, too. Like, And the first time he got caught, he was naked. What? Oh yeah, yeah, I, same guy. I just don't understand how you end up in those circumstances. Like, how does your life path end up there? Like, dude, that's just absolutely ridiculous. That's a conversation between me and my lawyer, Andy. <laughs> I think my favorite part is when the two come in at the same time, or one guy comes yeah, in yeah. and Chris catches them and then tells them to be quiet, and the second guy comes in. He's like, "Ah, uh, oh, hey, slave to mistresses. I want you to meet Tennis Boy Two Nineteen. Tennis Boy 219? This is, this is Slave to Mistresses. Wait, like wait. He, t- he yeah, tells they, them they, they, by their AOL like, messaging name. Yeah, yeah. But the one guy knows what's going on, the other guy doesn't. He's like, uh, hey, don't say anything or whatever. He's like, oh, do you know what this is? And the guy's like, no. Dude, they also, <laughs> they also have like that guy read the uh, the chat log like to you on the screen while it types it out. But he has huh. the most like friendly voice. He's like, <laughs> Like, he's like, want to suck my wiener? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Like, uh, dude, and then, like, Chris Hansen reads it, and he's like, I want to blank you. I want to stick my blank. All in your blank. Like, <laughs> dude, did you guys... You are a bear, and us have, bears like honey. Have we talked about, about uh, cheaters on this? No. Joey Greco getting stabbed? When he gets stabbed, and then, like, and then he goes back to, like, working on the show. There's no job I'd take a stabbing <laughs> for. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Back <laughs> well, and what was he expecting, dude? He's, like, up in their face during that, like, extreme point in those people's lives. Like, dude, of course he's gonna get stabbed. I'm uh, surprised he didn't get yeah, shot yeah, through those the brain. Are, like, he's, he's interacting with people at, like, probably one of their most emotional states in their entire lives. And he's like, of course he's gonna get stabbed. And dude, he got stabbed on a boat too, didn't he? Like, did oh, he get yeah, stabbed on a boat? Oh yeah, he got stabbed out of the sea. And then like, he, did he? <laughs> and they, they didn't charge him because it was sea international stab. waters. Dude, really? I, no, I'm kidding. I don't oh. know, maybe, but I was that like, show, Jesus, is that it the law? It was that show and cop like G4 when it was going down the drain. Like, it was just cops and cheaters, cops and cheaters. Those were literally the only two shows in the whole entire channel. Remember X Play? Yeah, what was X Play was it? amazing, man. There was a lot of good shows on X Play was really good. Do you remember when it was uh, extended play in like the last episode? Uh huh. Like Adam Sessler came out. And he's like, Jesus, what time is it? He comes out of like the arcade and everything's super bright, and then he chips over. He trips over the small child. Is this after he got fired? He got fired? Mm-hmm. Why? Uh, some type of dispute with his, like, contract or some shit. I don't know. Something stupid. He got fired, and then, uh, yeah, the, the whole show. And then some other people got let go, and then uh, Attack of the Show started going downhill because that what one dude retired. The... Who did? Or he, he, like, quit. The guy who was, like, the host of the Attack of the Show for a while, he was with Olivia Munn. Yeah, what, uh, and then um, Olivia Munn is, like, in fucking People magazine now. Yeah, man. Dude, she's beautiful. Anyways. Olivia Munn. I can't believe What happened to Morgan Webb? She, oh yeah, she, she, she was with X Play until the end, and then uh, as, soon as, so I, as soon as as soon as G Four got destroyed, she went somewhere else. I did not know G Four is not a thing anymore. Oh yeah, it, it's gone. How long is that? Dude, I don't know year. about. I Dude, I used to watch anything. like the coverage of like E Three every year, every summer. Dude, it was awesome. It was so good. God, man, I fucking missed that. It was so good because it was an entire week, <laughs> and that's all you did is watch it. Like, Dude, Andy like has no vivid, idea about like any of this. Vivid memory in my brain, like it's summertime when like E Three would be covering everything at or uh, G Four would be covering everything at E Three, and it'd be showing all the new games and everything. It was so much fun. It was good shit, man. And now it's gone. But you, you missed it, Andy. You missed a really good time. Spike TV still does some shit with it, but it's not. It's not as good. You probably were having fun. I mean, I guess Andy, while we were watching those. TV no, shows. you were not having nearly as fun as my imagination. He was my like, brain was. I was, show. man. I was clapping my fat thighs together on the couch with my <laughs> Cheetos. I was like, <laughs> "It's me, Mario." <laughs> it's great. God, that is Cheeto horrendous. in between your thighs and crunch. <laughs> <Poppy>. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we celebrate. Of course, dude. Woo! <laughs> Flaming hot. Course. It just morphs like with the like the fat of your guys. It just <laughs> stays there. God. Just a walk around with that shit rubbing against each other the whole day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really did used to just destroy bags of flaming hot Cheetos like 
you, I, as soon as I pop the bag open, it ain't done until it's gone. <laughs> bag included. <laughs> did you, did you, uh, like did you shit red ever? Oh my, yeah. Dude, that <laughs> stuff isn't made to be ingested by the human. Like, this is like freaking like, I don't know, it's like chemicals, man. It's red chemicals, that's all that's in fucking I feel like red. anytime you open a bag with food in it, it's gotta be all chemicals. Yeah, it's no, a bag dude, of that stuff. shit lasts forever. Yeah, seriously, that stuff cannot be edible. Like, hey, it's, how much bleach it's, can I drink without getting sick, do you think? Uh, mix it with some milk. Let me know. A, f- oh, a fourth of a pint. <laughs> <laughs> Gallon. Gallon's fine. Then you, you should be good. You try Are you it. talking about how, how much Cheeto dust you can drink? No, bleach. Oh. Like, can I take a I shot of know, bleach man. and be cool? Whoa, taking a shot of Probably Cheeto not. dust would be awesome. Find no out way, next dude. time. That Got next sting, time on the patio. That would, take like, a shot of bleach burn. on the air. <laughs> like, you'd take It'd probably that be and then a about shot as of bad for right you. after. <laughs> dude, you'd have, like, waterfalls of snot coming out down you'd each of your nostrils. You'd have an ulcer, like, in your stomach. I mean, did I, I, did I ever that in your tell you about my great uncle who drank a bottle of Louisiana's hot sauce <laughs> for, like, $3 and uh, burned out, like, ten holes in his, his, like, esophagus and, like, stomach, so he has, like, a million ulcers. Just for like five dollars, oh. he drank the whole bottle. Of Louisiana, what's it called? Louisiana hot yeah. sauce. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and like fucking burned everything in his body. <laughs> uh, dude, this guy that I work with was telling me there used to be a, a bar down in the loop that they would do a ghost wing challenge, and if you could eat twelve wings, you got a certain prize and your name on a plaque, and then they paid for the meal. Uh, so he got through about nine of them, and then his face started swelling up. He could like his eyes started watering, and his like started swelling shut. And uh, he goes out, and he starts chugging milk and, like, water, trying to calm, and he can't calm it. And he finally gets to, like, this one point, and then someone's like, dude, I can't imagine you throwing that up. And just that image alone, he went outside, threw up, and then all of a sudden, he just starts screaming. His own puke burned his eyes. Oh, oh. man. Wait, how? Like, like the, the stomach acid hitting and, like, the heat from the wings, just, like, the fumes. Holy shit. Burnt his eyes. That's a bad day. Oh, God, yeah. Burning your eyes out with your own puke. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a that's like Dante's Inferno punishment or something. Yeah. <laughs> For the, the that's what they should name the wings. Gluttonous. Dante's Inferno wings. <laughs> that's like, Dude, that's... Uh, it's like that's you go through dumber, one part it? of hell and they're just like, Eat these wings! Puke in the bucket! Dude, I never... Put your eye on it. <laughs> eyes only. Dude, those like... I, I could see how if it was something like delicious, like those eating contests but like when it's like the super spicy things like or like the the dude i have no desire for that anymore it's not worth your name on a plaque on a wall dude there's a video (laughs) of uh action bronson andrew wk trying to do a ghost wing challenge shit dude they go i'm over that man yeah i I, I don't i don't care about spicy food at all anymore i used to like it dude until uh I went to that halal truck, Peaches. You were just there recently. Yeah, dude, in he New was York. Warning there was a, how hot this sauce was, and like I, I told Tony five hundred times to not fuck around with this sauce, and he and he still did. He still thought he could handle it, yeah, and he, he put like a gallon of it on there. And it, <sighs> dude, the first time I ate it, like I I went there and I was like, dude, there's no way this stuff is gonna be like that spicy. I can totally handle it. And I, so I sprayed like a gallon of the spicy goo all over my like rice and chicken. And then I ate it, and it was so painful at the time that I could, like, hardly deal with it, and I had to, like, cover it up in white sauce to cancel it out. And then the next day was my first day on Boardwalk Empire, and I had, like, severe heat diarrhea, and I was wearing 1920s clothes with, like, four sweaters and, like, (laughs) suspenders and stuff, and I had to run into this, like, dirty bathroom on the Long Island Shore every five minutes between takes and strip off my 1920s clothes and take a heat dump. It was absolutely (laughs) ridiculous, so don't uh, mess around with the shit. don't dude. mess around with the hot sauce at, at the halal truck. Get that shit and, uh, on the side, man. Uh, like, dude, the doing? smell of it fucking yeah. burned my nostrils, man. It, it, yeah, I dude. didn't even need to trim my like uh, my nose hairs. It just took care of it right there for me. Yeah, man. You gotta when in test when in doubt, you touch with your taste. When in button. doubt, yeah, but put it on the side, like Colin said. When in doubt, just put the hot sauce on the side. You don't need to infect That's your whole trick. meal with it, dude. That's a trick. Because it's crazy. It'll get you, dude. I was yeah. like when uh. Like, working, uh, like, bartending down at range, like, once in a while you get a customer that tries to be, like, the hard ass. It's like, make it as spicy as you can, like a Bloody Mary. 
make it as hot as you can, and you just dump half a sriracha bottle in there. <laughs> You're like, all right. Hey, they asked Deal. for it, man. Fuck them. They was like, I don't like this. It's too spicy. Why is like, that... I don't get why that's like a sign of manhood to like just drink hot sauce and stuff. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, not at all. Man. Just, why is that enjoyable? I don't, I don't know. Why, yeah, people just like to suffer through their food is sometimes it? instead of like eating it. And I don't. Understand. I mean, I like hot sauce, man. I like the flavor of it. I love it, but I'm not gonna like. Yeah, man. So, in- yeah, I do. I enjoy spicy food, but I'm not gonna be out there being like, "Oh yeah, spiciness doesn't affect me." And just douse my. All, it was but the food was already good before, and then you fucking ruin it by pouring acid on it. Or that it's like, like cooked <laughs> really hot, and then you yeah you dump acid on it and try to it's eat it that like, way too. Why are you doing that to yourself, dude? You're supposed to be enjoying yourself. Not... Why would you want to make a like a delicious meal a painful yeah. experience? You're burning. Imagine your... explaining yeah. spicy to like a third world country. You're like, oh yeah, you're eating and you're getting food, but it's also very painful and you don't really want to. <laughs> They just be like, I don't understand. It's food, right? I feel like the universal like hand gesture for that is like waving your mouth, like like you're trying to like cool down your mouth. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I just wear sunglasses at no, Thai places. That's so a if it is too hot, they'll never know. Oh yeah, Dude, I, I, I didn't even yeah. think about the different hand gestures. Like that oh, could, I was just joking. That could, that could, <laughs> I have no idea. That could mean I killed your dad. Twice. <laughs> he brought him. I killed him, and then I killed his ancestors, and then I killed his ghost. That's what that gesture means. I'm the single owner of the Necronomicon. <laughs> yeah, they don't like that. They don't really like Necronomicons in uh, Ethiopia. Dude, uh, that being said, though, I do have a high wasabi tolerance. I really like wasabi, but that's different. Yeah. It doesn't like get down in your guts and stuff. It's like inside your skull, and it yeah, feels it, good. Yeah, it does. It just it's like in like your right in nasal. nasal. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah, it's I don't even really enjoy it though. I, I ate sushi with Andy and Bushwick, and he was getting down on this fucking extra hot. He asked for oh, a yeah, second dude. size of it. Like, I, yeah, it's just get like a wet powder one. paste green. I, dude, Andy, I was green. impressed. I I never nice. told you that, but I was really impressed because that shit was in my nostrils. Dude, yeah. oh what with my wasabi tolerance, dude? Yeah. I've been eating a dude, lot of you, sushi out of here, man. Dude, you took that <laughs> shit like a shot. Like it was like a shot of wasabi soy sauce. I yeah, uh, I don't eat sushi. I had a, I worked at a schnooks and they had a free sample sushi thing, which is probably the dude, worst sushi a... ever. And I, <laughs> yeah, I tried it. And it ruined it forever. And I'm like, dude. no. Dude, they yeah, just cut them. They, they just go to a tropical <laughs> pet store and grab a bunch of tetras and guppies and mash them up for those. <laughs> some sucker fishes. Yeah, some sucker fishes. They grind those Someone in there. Someone told me the other day that sushi chefs don't cook anything. They just kind of move food around. Which is kind of terrible because, like, dude, fish have, like, the... You know what? All wild animals have the worst parasites in their bodies. Oh, like, yeah, they're just pure dirt. Raccoons, oh, of course, and, like, mercury. birds. They got mercury in them. Okay, do name a clean animal. Oh, wait, I thought we were talking about fish. Uh, so. What's a clean animal? Name uh, one. Uh... Mm-hmm. Uh, There's no shark. Sharks can't even get cancer. What really? Mm-hmm. Dude, um, there's a sushi place out in off uh, South Grand called Cafe Moshi, and uh, this girl told me about it was like six years ago, and this is why she'll never go back there. Is she walked in there and two of the Japanese chefs were screaming and having a knife fight and, and like in. I would go there every day. I know. That's why I would. And like, that's pretty sweet. And went, like when the cops came, uh, the owner was like, no, 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 it's okay. This happens all the time. And like they're wielding like the sharpest knives known to man. <laughs> Dude, that'd make, I feel like Dude. Caesar like watching two gladiators fight to the death while eating bet, food. <laughs> yeah. Were they like handcuffed together like the bad video? They, like, <laughs> with with a sushi station? roll. They just like seaweed wrapped their hands like super tight together. Dude. And that was the chef special that day. <laughs> Human was flesh. Human hands. Yeah. Bone wrapped in human flesh. Yep. Your utensils should be bones. I'm going to get bone utensils. Like, I just want to eat with a bone. I'm sure someone's had... Like, like a fork with them. a bone fork? Oh, dude, Indians love eating with bones. <laughs> they use every part of the <laughs> I have no evidence to back that up. I believe you. But I'm going to assume it because they I'll used every the, every part of the Native I'm, American. I'm I had to have. They, they used every part of the Native American. They used every part of the Native American. <laughs> Dude, the well, other they, day they, I was... They totally used every part of the animals. The animal, yeah, the, the bison. They used every part of the people they kill. Dude, Dude yeah, the other they day... Them it, they, 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 you, they made brooms out of the eyelashes of the bison. <laughs> 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 they had to kill a whole bunch to make a useful broom, though. But we're gonna say have, you guys, uh, have you guys ordered Domino's online? Yeah. Because on Domino's online, like, it'll ask you, like, 
what kind of residence you have. It'll be like house, apartment, or other, and then the other icon is a TP. So like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you're ordering to a TP, they have like an option for you on the, on the Domino's menu. <laughs> Domino's lives to serve, man. They just want you to get that. Like who's diners. who 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 lives in a TP is ordering Domino's online from like on the internet. <laughs> I'm gonna order it from a cemetery and like have them bring it to a cemetery. But have a TP set and up. Yes, the, they the have cemetery. to dig up a grave too to get you your coffin to like. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, this is oh, the first method of help I thought of. Like I didn't call the police. I didn't call my parents. I didn't call. It. I called Domino's to give me a pizza. Dig yeah. it up and <laughs> dig, <laughs> dig me up. Put it in my uh, coffin. I know you dug it up and everything, but I don't have money for a tip. Like I'm that, sorry. You just make him dig up a random corpse. I'm like I just made that up. I don't even. That's just some guy you dug up. You're like. Uh, and then you call the cops directly. After yeah, call him, this guy's digging up bodies. You need to arrest. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get free Domino's. The yep. address <laughs> is like. Um, that's a great idea. Uh, did you write a book about that? The address. <laughs> The cemetery, and then that one like street that was next to the grave, and then you like have a grid where it's like A thirteen. Jonathan Taylor Thomas is the grave. I don't know why I picked him. Dude, like if you like if you did that like every week, like, hey, you guys want Domino's? I, I know a way to get it for free. <laughs> yeah. uh, first, they make him deliver it to a coffin that doesn't belong to me, and then I call the cops, and I'm the cops usually sit the piece to the side, and I just pick it up. <laughs> I've done it at least four times this month. Oh. This goes back to Catch a Predator, but have you seen them, like, bring Taco Bell and shit to, like, Oh, yeah, no, McDonald's. Do you think, like, they said to bring that? Because sometimes they're like, yeah, bring me some food. Do you think it's just the people who are doing that are just like, I'm hungry, I really could go for some Taco Bell. Let's get this Predator bring Taco Bell over. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. I thought it was just, I like, wouldn't eat it, Taco man. Bell endorsed You don't know what they're doing with it on the way over, though. If, like, they'd be jerking around with your food. Yeah, but it is Taco Bell. I wouldn't Bell, trust it. So. Yeah, it's already been jerked around with. And it's delicious. Dude, someone showed me this article today about uh, this woman who went to like McDonald's and ordered some sandwich. And then she's like saying that it was tasting weird. And then uh, sure enough, like two months later, started breaking out with a rash on her. Oh, like, no. around her mouth. Herpes! Yeah, someone someone jizzed all in her fucking mix Sunday. You can get herpes from that? I thought it has to be like fucking skin on skin shit. She got know, herpes like, from it. You can't get herpes from a, a McDonald's sandwich. She didn't get jizz. Hey, I didn't it. investigate it. I just read it because it was crazy. I feel that like maybe if they gross. jizz right on your mouth, you could. I don't know. Wait, yeah, with the it, heat, with the heat of the sandwich, like continue to carry the virus. No, like, it makes the virus it, would be able. To, it makes the herpes even more angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like now I'm def- I wasn't going to infect this bitch. Now I'm going to infect this bitch. Dude, didn't Van Sant find like a dreadlock in his McDonald's? Yeah. Food? He found a fried. It, it was corn fried, roll. deep fried dreadlock. <laughs> so it's okay then. <clears throat> How do you know it wasn't like a burnt ass sausage? Mean, yeah, he should have just chewed the the, the breading off at first. Just and, suck just on to make it sure. out. Yeah, to make sure, double make sure that it's like actually a dreadlock. Just suck on it for a while and get all the breading off it. And then if it's I, still yeah, a dreadlock, <laughs> then take it back. And be like, I sucked on this dreadlock for the dude fifteen was, minutes in my the car. The dude was pissed at doctors and knew Van Sant was coming through, and he's like, you know. what? Fuck that guy and ripped off his cornrow. Dude, and I would. Fried it. I would go back in there and I'd be like, uh, "Does anybody have dreadlocks here?" But like, oh yeah, Jeremy does. Jeremy, come on up here. I'd grab his fucking collar and I'd shove it so far down his throat. My <laughs> elbow was reaching on his lips. My elbow was on his lips. But excuse me. Um, last time I ordered the McChicken, I got a a dreadlock with it. Can I get that again? Like I really enjoyed that. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy. I enjoy. Then all of a sudden, the manager's mind starts ticking. He's like, "Money." money and so he just thinks he can just he, he'll just scalp or he'll make jeremy into a freaking crop field. i don't have any more dreadlocks his, man he'll make his scalp into a crop field that he, he mines he, for freaking dreadlocks he puts so he can make him, extra he puts dollars him, like, on one of those roasters that you see at like mediterranean restaurants that they like shave oh, off the, and make the oh my euros God. with it's like please just don't go to my family no jeremy your dreadlocks are your part of our sandwiches now enough yet you're not mm-hmm. done why would anybody want dreadlock sandwiches? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was in the new Jay Z video. That's why they wanted it. Uh, yep. Dreadlocks are kind of gross. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. They're, that's, uh, that's like, that's how they're made. They're made with gross grime. But like yeah. white people dreadlocks. Still, I think even I'm worse. Anybody, man. <laughs> even worse. That's why I, mean, I wasn't saying like. Dreadlocks well, by them. White yeah, you know what? Dreadlocks. Like, uh, well, people that like, if it's formed by like. It's the salt water, or like the beach, you know? Like, I feel like that might... No, nah, I mean, people do it's that. all gross. Don't yeah. even... I'm just trying to help these people. Are you trying to get dreadlocks, well, like, Yeah, dude. I'm, like I'm going super, all dreadlocks. Like, super fucking coarse, like... I'm going dreadlocks. Curly dre- hair. Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start locking itself in it. 
Yeah. But like as it goes, like uh, like the minerals and oils are not going through the entire hair, so it's yeah. pretty much dead hair anyways. Oh. It's just all at the scalp. But with white well, people, because our hair is like so, so thin, and like that all the minerals can go through. You're just sitting with a bunch of fucking dirty grease and just nasty yeah. nastiness. Dude, how, how do you even comb that? Can you comb dreadlocks? No, no. You just let them. You just let them fucking ride on your head. You can't. You, do. you can't part them into like a butt cut. A butt Didn't cut dreadlocks. Devin, Devin accidentally had dreadlocks because he just neglected his hair for long enough. To yeah, where they became dreadlocks. I've seen that before. People with like longer hair, it'll just form like a, just a lock of hair will just start just building. Like up sleeping, right. matting, not that washing is... it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Would you quit it? Would you? Uh, would, would you? Get, you would you please stop? Would you get responsible. Would you no. get responsible for if, it? If uh, if that's your lifestyle, then hey, stop it. <laughs> 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 if you're white, cut your dreads, please. Mm. Well, yeah. So yeah. Um, guys, yeah. I thought this was this was gonna be the speed episode, right? This is. We were thinking about like a forty. 45 minutes, so we got about so, five minutes. So, pop, lied, so lied, pop quiz said, hot shot. Okay. There's a bomb on the bus. That's from Speed. Have you ever seen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Speed with Keanu Reeves. Dude, and uh, what's his name? Get Anthony Hopkins gets his face knocked off on the no, subway uh, at the end. It's uh, Dennis it's Hopper. It, it, Dennis God Hopper, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah, he gets his face ripped off by a, a light at the end of speed. Dude, he, he stabs a janitor in the head in the beginning. Does he? I don't you remember, remember that? that. He stabs him with like no. a switchblade in the temple. Watch it again, dude. <laughs> it's it's when he like, uh, dude. Most people don't remember that part because it's like a, it's almost like a different movie. It's like when they're trying to get everybody off the elevator in time. Yeah, That's at the a, beginning. Yeah, but but Dennis Hopper is the one that sets that in motion. But he has to kill a janitor to get there, and. uh they don't really talk about the janitor ever again after that. So there's, no, there's no funeral or nothing. <laughs> that's a, that's a, at the beginning when Keanu Reeves shoots Harry from Dumb and Dumber in the leg or whatever. Isn't it at the beginning? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know what I'm talking about. They Never talk mind. about that janitor's funeral it. in the second one. I don't know if you've seen the second one. It's at the very beginning. <laughs> they bring it back. Oh, no, no. This, uh, he this was guy? a good janitor. They buried him in his mouth. Dude, that, that, that freaking <laughs> funeral had to be like, just awkward. Yeah, he got stabbed in the side of the head by a switchblade by a terrorist. <laughs> he was mopping. He 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 sure loved to mop. Um, and then he just got caught blindsided by a switchblade to the temple. He loved and uh, Dennis that. Hopper stared into his pupils as his ghost faded away. <laughs> and uh, now we're here. Most they actually just left the knife in the side of his head <laughs> in his casket. It's too mop, deep. Mop still in his hand. <laughs> they, just, they just picked up his body. They didn't like take him to like a corner or like a morgue or anything. Just put him straight into a casket in his like janitor he, robe. He fell or, into uh, a casket. They're robe. like, all right, we caught one. Finally, <laughs> most <laughs> most janitors shied away from vomit, but uh, we loved it. It's a big passion was cleaning up you. He loved sprinkling the sawdust on it, <laughs> sweeping it up. He's saying the kids on Netflix, man. dude. Oh, that's our janitor. Janitors. <laughs> now you're getting to a territory I don't want to explore. <clears throat> hey, uh, to catch a <coughs> if Sorry. any of you guys are janitors and you feel like we're giving you guys a bad rap, call in and uh, it'll ignore it. We'll, hey, ignore we'll, we'll, we'll completely yeah, ignore I, everything. I feel, like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like janitors come up on almost every episode. They have a uh, very important role in society, dude. Like, somebody has to clean up the things when there's a, a bunch of freaking people in a place like a supermarket or a school, like in a condensed spot. Everybody's just like, oh, I'll get away from that because I can just swim back into the crowd. But one person has to be there to clean all that up. I feel it's like that's why, like, some places are like, all right, they make the employees do it to, like, reestablish in society that we should probably be a little cleaner. Um, yeah, but stop pissing in the sink and, and like remember, shitting all over Remember the we talked about, like, uh, any job like that that's, like, frowned upon, I feel like? If you do it in space, it's automatically, like, super cool. You probably pick up chicks with it. That's true. <laughs> Like, yeah. like, space like, I'm janitor. a trash man. I'm a space trash man. I'm a janitor. I'm a space janitor. Like, like they bring, like, a freaking, like... I mop in zero gravity. But if you said, like, I was a space accountant, like, Space yeah, accountant? That's not that impressive. Yeah. Like an astrophysicist. It's better than a regular accountant, though. A yeah, chem- a, a chemist, a bio... Uh, a bio... Engineer. And then a, just a, a janitor. Space, a space A janitor. space dentist. 
<laughs> the space chair doesn't even go through all like the space test to oh, make sure man. his body's gonna be okay in space. He just like they just pick him up off the road and throw him into the spaceship. Like, are you just gonna mop the the, the sides of the plane? And uh, yeah, I feel like it'd be hard to we're not mop feed you. and <laughs> do to mop and zero gravity. That's what I'm saying. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's gonna be pushing, the worst job you're ever. You're pushing that little bucket with the mop water in it, and all the water just flows ah, out. Dang it! <laughs> I can't clean anything up here. You just dive through <laughs> it, like spread it everywhere to clean everything. He's all his cleaning tools turn into trash in themselves. Like as he's cleaning, just getting dirtier and dirtier around himself. All his chemicals are around him. They're separating from like There's water to oil. To find grease. a wall-eyed yeah, float in his trash. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you'd be you'd have to go and snatch like turds out of the air and stuff. Like there's no <laughs> picking up anything. You'd well, be, like, yeah, a I, I mean, I a mean, if they, net. if they got a space chamber up there, there's no reason for a toilet. The space chamber will just catch their turds for them in a bag <laughs> at all hours of the day. Can you imagine if you're taking a shit and somebody turned on zero ground? You're like, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you dude, can see it dude, dangling like, from your ass. To, <laughs> what is? I feel like. like to Man. be a space janitor, like you just have to put <laughs> everything into like a Ziploc bag or something, like to where it can't, like you just have to try to gather all the filth and put it but in one put it spot. In the, you put it in the trash can, it just still floats around everywhere anyway. It's like, oh, this is a Ziploc bag of shit. <laughs> you threw your like cleaning supr- supplies, like grenades, at like the wall on the floor. Dude. Just imagine being in zero gravity. Floating around, your body's all floating. Next episode, zero gravity episode. We're gonna do it. No gravity. They have those planes that do it. Like they shoot around. It's Only like, for I've a actually, little bit. I mean, roller coaster. You get that feeling in a roller coaster, or like uh, I've been in a helicopter before, and the helicopter like dive bombed and and then like pulled up, and like we all kind of floated for a second, and it was like it was awesome. Man. Oh, Whoa, really? what'd that feel like? It, dude, it felt like I was a ghost. I don't feel like I was going to become a ghost. I feel like I would be like, what the fuck are you doing? You can't dive a helicopter. It was odd. Dude, we flew over a volcano, and I, I was like, hey, man, you should go, like, over the volcano. Because, like, he, he was just going around, like, the perimeter, and he's like, I can't do that. It's pretty dangerous. And I was like, yeah, but imagine if we did die. If Like, that'd be the greatest death ever if we crashed this helicopter into a volcano. That's, like, the greatest death anybody could ever have. <laughs> I just tell my pilots on a And that one argument let him do it? Yeah, he just went right over it. Dude, have you, have you ever seen Lava before? <laughs> you no, actually convinced person. him to do it? Yeah, oh yeah. Dude, my whole family was in the helicopter. Too. I endangered my whole family. <laughs> uh, dude, freak, just just to go over it. Uh, Lava's like, dude, Lava's awesome looking, man. It's like so bright and like weird. Like surrounded by everything else. It's like this like, glo- it's crazy looking, man. I can't really describe it except that it's crazy and bright. Orange. Volcanoes are weird. Now that I think about it, it's like keep all that shit inside. Like, why do you have like these little spots where it's okay for? It to Dude, the out? volcanoes created, they terraformed the, the earth. I know, but now their time is done. Yeah, forget them. <laughs> Let's uh, concrete all uh, volcanoes. Right. right. Dude, right. a volcano. Lance, people always Lance, talk about. How did, how did you end up in a helicopter over a volcano with your family? I don't understand that. that I'm a, like, people don't, people I'm, a secret, to his... I'm a secret spy. Yeah, I just I went to the guy's house and pulled a gun on him. Uh, <laughs> no, we were in uh, Kona, Hawaii. It's like the big island, and uh, we went on like a helicopter tour around like the island, and uh, we went over the volcanoes, and we got to go over like waterfalls and shit. And the guy was playing, uh, uh, what's that song called? It's like tear, or Tears of Africa or... Uh, oh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's Africa by Toto. No, 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 no. It's, it's Enya. Oh. I think it's I think it's Storms Storms of Africa by Enya. Okay. Play it. I'll, I'll, I'll find it and text you and then you can play it right there. I, thought, I'm, I'm really I like, thought you meant Tears in Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> no, like man. while you're flying Dude, over the volcano. No, he was like... He, 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 like we all had our headsets on and like he played it while we were going through like waterfalls. Like... He, through the valleys of these like jungles and stuff like Jurassic Park dude it was magical man like tears float I, I'm crying but it, tears inside my head float around <laughs> I, can't, I still can't awesome. believe that like, you convinced him you're like come on how cool would it be if we died like this like, yeah <laughs> I mean dude we're like a mile above the thing it's not like shooting lava that high it's like, all right, that's a pretty good argument. Let's yeah. do this. Seriously, man. Dude, now I know how to fly. You fly it. above it at the at the moment that it bursts and it hasn't Dude. erupted in like a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, a thousand. <laughs> then, dude. Then we. Then that's one of those things where it's like we deserve it because it's like, it's like it's like that skydiver who like almost got killed by an asteroid, like or a comet or whatever Wait, meteorite. What? There's a video of a meteorite going by a skydiver while he's like skydiving. So he almost got killed by a meteorite while skydiving. 
And if that actually happened, he could smile as he faded away. Because <laughs> he is a miracle. He died a miracle. Um, yeah, um, dude, that would be so sick. A miracle Vespucci. And that, that's his last words. Just like, it's a miracle. <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> his last words were Amerigo Vespucci. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be another miracle. If all, if all of that happened, it would just be the greatest story ever told. Nobody, and nobody would ever believe it either. No, not even like the guy filming him die. Think about all the crazy stories that have happened in this freaking universe that like weren't like recorded with like an iPhone or like I, a, I don't or a camera. Like, yeah, I guess if you haven't seen them, you don't believe them. But like, like in yeah. World War Two, all the crazy things those soldiers had to do and like. Or just like cowboys and Dude, but, Indians. But think and, about it now. It's like if you do something crazy, it's someone's way, like, oh, show me a picture yeah, or a video. Yeah, it's way easier to yeah. lie. It's way easier to lie back uh, today. It, Dude, oh yeah. I, bang. I banged all these bitches. They're all tens. It's like, show me pictures of them. Show me oh, the Facebook. The iPhone doesn't exist, actually. Oh, well, then I have to believe you then. <laughs> Dude, uh, the what's, what's crazy to me is like, Think about, like, war before there were, like, guns and stuff. Like, you had to just run into a field with a bunch of other dudes with, like, a sharpened stick and know that you, like, could very well just be impaled at any given second and, like, that just die. <laughs> like, is how I want to go. Dude. Yeah, well, I wish it was like that again. Freaking. I wish all my guns got thrown away. I wish... I don't even want bows and arrows. I want fucking... I want to get up close and I want to see the person's eyes when I <laughs> shove the sword right through their guts. If you're lucky. Most of the time you get a spear through your neck... It picked up off the ground, and then you're, you slide down it while they're steering into your pupils the whole time singing lullabies to you as your face comes <laughs> closer to closer to them. <laughs> that's when Tears in Heaven comes on. <laughs> 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 even, even before it was written. Like, <laughs> in medieval times, they all fought yeah. to the song Tears in Heaven. Yep. <laughs> and it's all in slow motion, too. So that happened more often than people know about. It. Trust me. When they, uh, they told your family... Uh, that they were dead. They they sang uh, "Seals Kissed by a Rose" or "Kissed for a Rose." Yeah, uh, Without even warning, they all just started singing. Yeah. Kissed by a rose. Oh, <laughs> <baby. laughs> uh, oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I bet Seal felt great, like screaming that at the top of his lungs with his shirt open though, and the wind blowing and stuff. That's gotta <laughs> yeah. be awesome, man. But then he looked in the mirror and saw how fucked his face was. <laughs> oh, oh damn. too soon. Oh, Kidding me? Too soon. I think I know his face is fucked. <laughs> what happened to his face? What I don't know. You in a fight Wait, with what a panther? Happened? What seal has a messed up face? A Are you seal kidding me? Yeah, I thought that's just the way he looked. You saw his good side. Google his face. Yeah. Google seal's face. Is it, what happened to seal? Is he still around? Uh, he, is he banging Martian bitches? I hope so. Yeah, dude. A hawk. He made he made a kiss from a rose, and then uh, yeah. And he then was a outside. hawk got him. Yeah, he, he was outside, and a hawk just got him. <laughs> and nobody seen him since. Got his other eye. It picked it's him up like a small rodent, and they somebody saw him being picked apart on a road sign by a hawk. It's it was seal. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's on the deleted scenes of the "Kiss from a Rose" video, <laughs> like the, the actual death of like the singer, like by like a small bird. <laughs> and here's uh, they thought he was prey just by the side of his fucked up face. <laughs> Seal, hey Seal, if you're listening to this, man. Baby! <laughs> Dude, uh, I hope Seal subscribes to the video, <laughs> man. That'd be awesome. Yeah, man. Well, shit. Uh, Major we're shot at, at the Seal right now. We're at our, our point where we're going to have to let you guys go back into the cosmos. We're leaving early. We'll reach back to you next week. Today was a half day. It's Arms early. wide open. With a... <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna censor that. Oh. <laughs> Dude uh <laughs> guys also I mean to apologize that we've been so off schedule. Life's just been damn crazy. Peach's car gets broken into, I'm trying to move and uh it's uh it's a weird thing, but Daddy O Patio is almost a year old and we're gonna have a party at the bank. They still and, uh, they still haven't found Van Sant after the, the burial after I'm the firefighter right burial. I'm getting he's, very worried he, now. I think he's a yeah. skeleton by now. Tell him we're, we're gonna give him a skeleton. Let's unbury he him and make his bones into like Let's hold chains. Let's auditions. No, I I I wrote to him on That's Facebook, so... texted him, and uh, he hasn't responded to their group text either. I think he's just a ghost now, man. Shit! Open auditions, uh, Daddy O Patio. 
No way, dude. I think we should just slowly go extinct. Dude, should we just hang <coughs> out at his grave? Whoa. <laughs> Do you agree? Whoa. If it was just one person by themselves? No, no, like, no. I mean, like, it's it's kind of like uh, like the, the Sandlot where they're like, yeah, we never enlisted. They don't talk like that. <laughs> we, we never enlisted anybody after uh, that beautiful summer. First, the Benny brothers left, and then Jimmy left, and Johnny left. You know, like, we just leave one by one as opposed to trying to recreate the Pentagon. No, this, this is no, for no, life. No, no, you don't leave. You don't, yeah, this is for life. But then, but then like, it's for life. We I mean, all Van Sant's dead. We all die, and then we, uh, <laughs> like, it gets to the point where there's one person by themselves. It's like, so what are we going to talk about? Oh, yeah, it's In just me. You start room. acting like all, like, each other's voices. You're like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, hey, Van Sant, that's a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> meat. <laughs> Give me meat. And <laughs> 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 just plants in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's that's the road we're heading on. And that's the show. <laughs> that's the show. And, uh, we, and, we, and when we get to that point, I hope you guys still tune in and listen to the ramblings of a madman. Because uh, we all love you. Yeah, and, uh, thanks for listening. We'll uh, see you all next week. And uh, without any fucking... Uh, Nine days. Nine days. Nine days. Nine days. Patio. Oh, yeah, nine days nine. is our birthday. Or actually, eight days now that it's the next eight day. Eight days. Eight, eight hey, days. Hey, wait, what's it going to be eight on Monday? Because they're going to hear this and they're going to get confused. Uh, three five, days? Five days? We'll figure it out. Yeah, whatever. Daddy-o! <laughs>